earlier today someone asked how did I create the images I posted on the Mellencamp group, the, the images of the sun. I used a program called Registack version 6, freeware, can be downloaded from the internet. And I selected a, one of the video files I recorded the other day, opened the file, and there's the image. That is the first frame in the video. Next thing I usually do is show the frame list and then scroll through the list. And you can see not every, every image is good. Some images are out of focus, some are blurry from the atmosphere moving. But you can go up and down the list to find a good image. I think 92 is not bad and use that as a starting point. Set alignment points and then do an alignment. While it's doing the alignment, this can take several minutes. I'm going to pause the video. It's been a little bit over a minute since I paused the recording. We're at 92%, 93%. Now it's finished doing the alignment. The next thing to do is to do a limitation on the number of frames going into the stack. And you can limit the lowest quality that you want to add the lowest quality frame added to the stack. In my case, I'm going to go with a 95%, at least 95% as good as the one I picked originally. So I'm going to do that and say limit. Now it's limited the frames, and I'm going to actually stack them now by clicking stack. Full image. And that is the stack of the frames that were at least 95% as good as the one I selected. Next thing to do is play with wavelets. You'll be able to see immediately what wavelet adjustment does. If you pull a wavelet, like the first wavelet, pull it up to about 15 and hit do all you can see that it did sharpen the image, bring out more detail. Let me go to the second wavelet, go to about maybe eight, and do all. Depending upon how aggressive you want to get with the, the wavelets, you could use all, none. I've just now used just the first two. I'm going to maybe move the, the third one up a little, do it. And now that's the finished wavelet adjusted image stack. A few other things you can adjust. Try histogram. As you raise or lower the midpoint in the histogram, that can change how bright or dark. I'm just going to reset it to the way it was and close histogram. Gamma is another one you can adjust. by dragging the line, make it brighter, darker. Again, this is a matter of personal preference on how you want to adjust the image using the uh, gamma. Let's try that for now. Do all, close gamma. That might have gotten it a little bit too dark. Well, let's see if we can change brightness. Might be a little bit too aggressive. Let's tweak the brightness. Tweak the contrast. Once you've tweaked it to the way you like it, you just hit Save Image. 
and you can save the image. I'm going to save this one to the desktop. I'm going to call it Solar Image 0712201.8. Save. That image is now saved. It's a quick tutorial on how to use Registax to tweak your image.